Put a smile on your face when you're moving from place to place. place. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. back this morning to the Tobago Updates morning show. Welcome back, welcome back. Uh, remember, viewers, it is the first day of school for the last school term. Yes, school is reopened today. So if you're still at home at 7.36, guys, you're running really late. You've got to get there. You've got to get there, drop them off, and get to work on time. So you should be out the door around now. All right. Uh, but we're chatting this morning with Mr. Wade David, a committee member and a teacher attached to Wim Anakin School. This morning, viewers, our focus is on the Wim Anakin's art and jazz experience. Good morning and welcome to uh, SS Sir David here. <laughs> yes. Sir David. Yes, Sir David is OK. Good morning, Ria. Good morning to all viewers. Good morning, Tobago. All right. Now, I'm really happy to have you back with us. It's been a while. I don't think you and I have chatted here on Tobago Updates. Um, we've chatted maybe before elsewhere. I believe so, elsewhere. And I was here last year with the Wim Anglican Primary Girls football team as well. OK, all right, yeah. all right. Now, we're talking about art and jazz. Now, uh, I mean, I, I love the way the, the Wim Anglican School is capitalizing on what's happening on the island this mm -hmm. weekend. So tell us what, you know, how you all came up with this collaboration. Right, so this is the brainchild of the Parent Teachers Association mm -hmm. at the Wim Anglican Primary School. Mm -hmm. And uh, the idea is that during Jazz Festival, the, the mothers and fathers, aunts and uncles, they all have the chance to experience and enjoy culture in some way. And the children are usually left at home with, with the caretaker, whoever is there. Mm. And this is the opportunity for the children now to showcase their talent and to also enjoy um, some aspects of culture in the same way that the adults can. So, Waji, the Wim Anglican Arts and Jazz Experience. Give us that one more time. It's called Waje, and we want that to be a household name in Tobago. Waje, just like we had Ramaje and Dingole and Palance. <laughs> I love it. Yes, Waje, Wim Anglican Arts and Jazz Experience. And this is a jazz event just for kids. Just for kids. <laughs> Now, what are we talking about here in terms of performances? Are we talking the children performing, young people, the matured, jazz? Well, we have both. Um, primarily, we want this to be a platform for new, young, and emerging talent in the primary schools. So we opened up the, um, the, the performances to children, primary schools throughout Tobago. And we have performances coming in from St. Andrew's Anglican, from Scarborough RC, Mason Hall, Black Rock, mm -hmm. Wim Anglican, and other primary schools. And they are doing various performances, dance, um, spoken word, speech band. But with regard to the seasoned performers, we also have a, a, a plethora of, of instruments. We have Carol Warner, um, a violinist. We have Michelle Henry, a saxophonist, Kashif Wilson, um, Kalem Jamu on drums, Gerard Balfour on pans, and also Tam Tam and Adana will also be gracing the stage. So we have a, a really packed cast that we believe the children would be able to truly enjoy and also learn something as well, because this is cultural edutainment. It's education and entertainment. Yes, yeah, so we try to deliver the curriculum by creating an experience for the children. Coming out of this, they are able to write reports, re write stories. They are able to, to tell of experiences that they would have had. So this is, these are some of the objectives behind Waji. All right, and what sort of, what sort of, um, what sort of, uh, uh, Inside, what sort, of, what sort of attraction has it been gaining, I mean, thus far? What have persons been saying? I love the title. I love the Waji. Whoever coined the, <laughs> the, the term, uh, the name, I have to say it will definitely catch on, Waji. Yeah. I can almost hear, see some persons wanting to name their babies Waji. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know how we are in the Caribbean. Yeah. It sounds good, so we give the baby the name. What's your name? Waji. What does it mean? I don't know. My mommy went to a women in school, and she just decided to... Um, um, but what, tell us about the, the attraction that this event has been, been gaining. Right. In terms of corporate sponsorship, um, we've been reaching out to corporate sponsors and they've been very, very receptive. We've been reaching out to the THA. 
We've had, you know, very positive reception from the divisions of education, mm -hmm. as well as the division of tourism and culture. So we really want to thank them for being receptive to the idea and supportive as well. We've reached out to the primary schools. Mm -hmm. They have also been very receptive. They see this as an opportunity to, to help to create a space in Tobago for, for culture to start um, developing. In At a, an early age. Exactly. Because yeah. we don't want to wait until our artists are, are, you know, 20, 25 years old and they're struggling. They, they don't have mm -hmm. any sort of foundation. Right. So coming out of this, we, we want to focus on development as well. So Waje will be an, an annual event. We don't want to be a, a Waje to be a one-off thing that somebody remembered back in 2023. Mm -hmm. We want Waje to be an annual thing. Once there is jazz, there must be Waje for the kids. That's right. You can't coin a, a name like Waje and just have it have a one-off. Yeah, exactly. All right. So it, we see the continuation taking place here. Um, but let me ask you, in terms of, in terms of what you are expecting, this is the first year, yes. Mm -hmm. But when we look at how this 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 event can grow, um, I'm sure already be because of time, you would have. This is what you see here, but you yes. already see the potential for it. Where do you see Waje uh, Waje growing to in the future? We see Waje growing to become an international and regional platform to showcase local talent right here in Tobago. Mm -hmm. So once a performer goes on a Waje stage in the future, we expect that there will be some international acclaim, some sort of prestige. Mm -hmm. So we want to develop this Waje platform primarily for the young artists, the primary school age artists and performers. And we also see Waje as not just a platform, but a means of development, mm -hmm. developing the the cluster of culture in Tobago. Because um, coming out of this, we want to connect the young artists to mentors as well. Um, and also, it's not just about the performances. We also have an art competition attached to Waje, mm -hmm. where persons are able to submit paintings, drawings, sculptures, different forms of art on a simple question, what does jazz mean to you? Right? And so we... we Waje eventually in the future will be a major, major art and cultural experience in Tobago. Okay. When is Waje taking place and where? Waje takes place on Wednesday, the 19th of April, mm -hmm. from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. at the Boko Integrated Facility. Right, so you don't want to miss this. Parents, children, um, those, even if you are in a, a high school and you're into culture, you're into arts, mm -hmm. we invite and encourage you to attend as well. Yeah. Um, will there be school on that day for the women? Right. Um, we will have school suspended at 12.30 in order for, for that. And, you know, we're encouraging primary schools, you know, through the permission of the division, we're encouraging them to send your children out to, to attend Waji. And this is something that, you know, we've communicated with the division with as well, um, to allow children to have this part of the curriculum de delivered to them via experience. You know, okay. so not all the, the curriculum would and should be de delivered within the boundaries of the classroom. We believe that experiential learning in this form is also beneficial. All right, and in terms of the art, we're talking art and jazz. Mm -hmm. The artwork, these are the children doing the artwork. The, the children. children. From what level, what, what age group? Um, this is from, it could be even from preschool. We, we, we are not discriminating. So this is open to the preschools as well. Um, the, all primary school age. So um, once you're in a primary school or a preschool, you can attend. I forgot to mention that for the preschoolers, children under five, admission is free. Right. It's totally free. So if you're at a, a preschool and you want to bring your child or children, it's free. But adults pay. Adults pay, yeah. <laughs> if you're over preschool age, yeah, yeah. that's right, you've got to pay. Uh, so again, it's happening at the Buku Integrated Facility starting 1 p.m. on Wednesday. Yes. All right. And this is a, a call for not just school-age children and parents, 
but for Tobago to come out and see. Yeah, we, we really would like the support, you know, because when you attend as a Tobagoan, you are showing the children that you are interested in them and what they are doing, and you encourage them to put, you know, to, to be the best that they can be on the stage. All right, and it's Waji. Waji. Wim and the Khan Art and Jazz Experience. We will not forget Waji. Same for the viewers. It's happening on April 19th. That's Wednesday coming 1 p.m. at the Buku Integrated Facility. So when you see your friends this morning, you just say, Waje. <laughs> That's right. And you remind them it's all happening on Wednesday. All right. Thank you so much for being on the program. And all the best to you and the Parent Teachers Association at the Wimanakan School. Thank you very yeah. much, Ria. You're Thanks welcome. for having me. Our pleasure indeed. Waje, viewers. Waje. Lots more coming up this morning on the Tobago Updates Morning Show. Viewers, we are talking gospel jazz when we come back. And our guest is going to be Samuel Medas. Uh, we're going to be doing it on online. We wish he were here. But don't worry. He's going to be we're going to get a taste or two. Because my daddy is the king, so I am. All right. We're going to be chatting when we come back. So, viewers, share the live. Share the live. Share the live.